This is Dave and Jell, and we're back to test another product. Uh, today we have an Esboli, I believe that's how it's pronounced, espresso machine. When we uh, test our products, we do not test them ahead of time. We don't know. We, we, we just go right from the um, right from opening the package to testing it. I did read the instructions, so I got a clue, but not all. Um, so we I've taken the liberty to get out what we need. Uh, it does come with the espresso machine. It has a milk frother. This is the filter holder. This is the filter. Coffee scoop and tamper. And then, of course, your carafe for the water, for the coffee, or the espresso, I mean. So, let's go ahead and start. It does have in the instructions all your precautions. Some of them you really do kind of need to read, and a lot of them are just make common sense. We're going to make four cups of espresso, and then we're going to um, froth milk, and then we're going to froth our favorite creamer. Now, that's where you pour the coffee, the water in. You put the cap on, and you have to put it on cap. I guess it's pressurized. Create steam. Now, you put in. There is measurements on your coffee filter. So you put the coffee in, and you use regular ground coffee. You don't use um, espresso coffee. I suppose you can. We didn't try it. I'm just doing what they say. One scoop is two cups. So I'm going to put in two scoops. Tamp it down. And actually I'm going to put the filter in. Because I did try putting the filter in earlier and it's not, it's not hard, but it doesn't doesn't go in real easy and it takes a lot to lock it so you got to bring it all the way around till it's locked we'll put the urn in it and then we'll turn it to the brew and it takes it says like two minutes so we're going to pause until it's done brewing all right she's all done brewing you can see that we've got a full carafe of coffee. It says to not take the cover off until it either cools down, so you have to turn it to the off position. Uh, when it is done brewing, it brews. Once it starts, it brews real quick. Steam comes out, it's all done brewing. Take and turn your handle clockwise, and it uh, releases your coffee. We're going to take this off slowly just in case there's still steam because it hadn't been that long. Now, to make to froth your milk, it says to fill that with water again. Obviously, I spilled some, but it's about as much as what fits in a carafe to fill it. I'm going to put the milk, and it recommends using whole milk at refrigerated temperature. So I'm using whole milk. It says to not fill your, your frothing cup to the, to the top. It says leave it one third from the top. Uh, I believe that's what it said. And then typically one third of the top. So now in order to it says either use ceramic or the uh, a stainless steel uh, picture to froth your milk i'm using ceramic because i don't have a stainless steel it says it's going to take about two minutes and it will froth the milk now, I'm also going to try our favorite creamer, 
and let you know how it does with both. I suppose you could use half and half. It doesn't say to. It just recommends whole milk. <clears throat> you can hear it building up steam. Okay, wait a minute. I hear start. Just, there you go. Now start spot. I'm sorry, it does use the steam. I hear it. I hear it. Now that was a half full cup, so I'm going to say less than half full. <laughs> and I still, maybe, maybe it's only a third of a cup of milk you're supposed to use. But it is, it is done frothing. Watch your feet. And I've got frothy milk. I'm going to pour some, but I'm going to spill it too. I don't know. That's what it looks like. <laughs> I'm going to try our favorite creamer here in a second. It tastes like espresso. It's very, it's rich, just like espresso would be. Now I'm going to make it in my Weiss cup, and I'm going to use our favorite creamer. And I'm not going to put nearly as much in. Okay, you can shut it off. Okay, we're using the creamer. to see how it works with creamer, in case you'd rather... We tasted the espresso, and it tastes like espresso. It's very strong coffee. So now we use creamer. Because we did put a little bit of creamer in our coffee after in the espresso after we tried it. And it tastes, we like it better, just because we like it a little sweeter. Now, um, as you can see, it's actually doing a very good job with this, frothing it. I may have had too much milk in it before. But it, when it says to clean it after every use, clean it. I wasn't going to, but I pulled the little uh, whatever that is off. And um, it, the milk is dried on it already, one use. So I did take and clean it off for this. And I definitely recommend cleaning it every time. Smells good. Hey. I can smell it from right to you. Wow, it's starting to make a mess now. I used a lot less creamer in here, obviously. You can't pull it away because it'll burn you. I'm just going to shut it off. Me. And that is my wife's cup of coffee. Cup of espresso. Not hard to use. 
Um, definitely is espresso. It's definitely um, rich and uh, strong like espresso is. I have questions for you. Okay. Yep. You need to wait. Uh, oh my God! What is here? make sure okay here are the questions what do you think is the most attractive part of this product the most attractive part i'm not sure what they're asking but uh the coffee the espresso machine itself isn't bad looking machine uh, i wouldn't say anything's attractive it's an espresso machine if you could change just one thing about our product what would it be I would make it so that the frother had a stand so you didn't have to sit there and hold it underneath the frother the entire time waiting for it to steam up. Mm. Okay, the next question. Zero to five points. How many points are you willing to give the product? Difficult to judge it against another product. The only espresso I've ever had was Perk. Uh, takes a long time. This literally took less than two minutes and um, frothing, I've never used a frother for anything. So I'm going to give it a good four, uh, mainly because of the frothing problem I had. Do you have more suggestion about the products? Product? Um, I can't think of anything. Um, it was kind of messy. Oh, I would say use a pitcher. Don't use another cup like we used to do the frothing. Use a pitcher so it pours out. Um, plus, the pitcher narrows at the top. It won't splash all over your hand. I did have it splashing on my hand, and it, and it is hot. Um, the locking mechanism for the uh, filter doesn't lock into place real easily it, it's very difficult uh and it doesn't snap in like i kind of thought it might so if it could I, I, that isn't a problem i just tightened it it was good it didn't move i just want to put uh what do you think of the coffee taste brewed by this machine i thought it was it tasted like espresso i think it's good it, it was good okay I will use it. Okay. So say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. This is Dave and Jell signing off from the product until we test another. See ya. Bye.